Okay, this is Kennedy T back again with some Terraria, except this time we just created a world and now we're in. What now? As you can see, there is a guide. Now, if you've never played the game before, it's not bad to go talk to the guide and blah 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 blah. I read it all before. Okay, so your goal right now is to survive. How you want to do that is you want to chop down some trees. So let's go do that. Um, by default, you want to chop down trees at the stump so that they regrow rather quickly, but I'm going to actually build my house here, so that's not really a concern for me right now, so I'm going to chop them down at the stump. Ideally, you want to chop them down... Whoa, it's a lot of wood. Um, ideally, you want to chop them down kind of on... Oh, I picked up a shroom. Shroom! Shrooms make pots later, but right now they're just used for general healing. Um... The reason you want to chop them down at the roots, I'll show you what I mean. So, as opposed to getting rid of the stump, you chop them off like here, and then they will actually regrow. It also takes considerably less time, because to remove the stump takes about as much time as the tree. But, you cannot build if the stump is there, so that's not a big deal. And, okay, now we have a nice flat area to build our house on, so I'm going to work on getting this area a little bit flat. Uh, there's also a nice cave system off to the left, so we might even encompass that into our house. I'm not sure. Um, but, ooh, okay, so, slime, combat 101. Uh, you can approach this with either a axe or a pickaxe. I would recommend a pickaxe because it's faster and does more damage. Um, but as you can see, slimes are fairly simple, they just jump and they're not that hard to deal with. Um, and taking on multiple slimes is fairly easy. It just gets more complicated when they're harder to kill slimes. Um, so again, recap, uh, just hold it down and watch for the jump like that and try and avoid it. Uh, you want to kill a couple of slimes in your first day because you really want to uh, you do want um, you do want gel. Gel is kind of an essential item, uh, and I'll explain why later. Okay, so <coughs> for all intents and purposes, at this point in time, platforms do not exist. We'll cover them later. So as you can see, just starting with the crafting. Um, oh, whoops! I think I got rid of my pickaxe. Uh, one of the things that does confuse some people about Terraria is that. Um, so some things are affected by where you swing, like this, and some things are affected by where you click. And that can be really confusing sometimes depending on what you're trying to do. These are massive trees. It is nice. Oh, look at the poor bunny. Okay. Uh, okay, so water. Water will drown you. Water is bad. And I'm not really in a good position right here. I'm having to deal with gels and water. Breathe! Breathe, my son! Okay. Okay, for ease, I am just gonna bridge this. We'll come back to it later. There we go. I could have used some of my wood, but I want to save my wood for later. Because uh, that's what you build your house out of. Um, so, the AI in this game is pretty stupid, which is good, because if they were smart, we'd be dead. Uh, so, I've got about 191 wood, which is enough, but you can never have too much wood. You do you lose that. Ah, you do use up a stupendously large amount of it over time. So again, leaving them as stumps so that they regrow. You can actually plant trees, and I'll demonstrate that here. Uh, you'll probably see them grow in a few episodes. Um, so you can kind of plant saplings uh, from acorns, which you collect from chopping down trees. Uh, now some of you are probably thinking, why am I watching this? Well, some people haven't bought the game yet. Shock horror, I know. And some people are just wondering what the game is. Some people want to see how the game works, what you do, etc, etc. Um, and this covers them. Uh, I will get into more complex stuff later, and... 
Like, I'm basically going to go from start, cover all the basics, get more complicated, more complicated, more complicated, explaining reasoning, why you're doing it, tutorial. It's a tutorial, which is something which Minecraft and Terraria could both do better. Now, Terraria does a tutorial far, far better than Minecraft, but not by an amazing amount. Um, so just chopping down trees, I really do, I have enough wood now, I really don't need any more. If anything, I need to go find some slimes, um, and I'll explain why in a minute. It's kind of hard to explain without it being night time, um, and there's two slimes down here, so they're going to come in handy. Um, so slimes drop gel, uh, gel is a very important item for crafting, uh, I am going to need to use some wood to get out of here. Breathe, my son. Okay, cool. So, yeah, gel is very, very important for crafting, and without it, you can not really do much. Uh, so, we're getting about halfway through the first day, and your first day will be sent, spent killing slimes, getting wood. Uh, your motivation for all this is you do not want to die at night. Um, basically, nighttime, monsters spawn. Yay! Uh, if you run across any iron or copper on the surface, I'd save mining for later, but if you run across any on the surface, which I just did, um, die yuppie slime, um, as you can see on the left here, that is iron, um, and I'm going to progress my way over to it, and if you can see just on the edge where that, oh, damn. Okay, so slimes come in colours, um, and the further away you get from spawn, down, sideways, up, whatever, the more deadly versions of slime will spawn. Uh, come on, slime. So as we can see, we are being chased by a blue slime. We're actually being chased by two blue slimes. Um, they have a little bit more HP, about 10, and deal more damage, and I believe even have a bit more armor. And there's like 10 different forms of slime, uh, and they're the only kind of monsters, at least in your general vicinity, which spawn during the day. So, dealing with them is not that much harder, it just requires a bit more patience. I'm getting a nice amount of uh, gel here. That can be one of the problems you have on your first day. You see like three slimes, get like three gel, and then a bone during the night. Um, so I'm going to go after this iron. Oh wow, I kind of struck jackpot with trees. Uh, being randomly generated worlds, some people do kind of get screwed over sometimes uh, with the world generation. I've had worlds where you've had to go like into further than blue slime to even find one or two trees and then you get worlds like this which are just like trees galore um, and you can have trees galore but they may not necessarily be tall trees so they might not give you as much uh, so just eating a mushroom ah I skipped over one of the basics okay so once I dealt with the slime I'll cover the basics like the very very basics Okay, so, obviously we've got our inventory. When you press escape, that brings up crafting menu and what you have equipped. Uh, come on. This is not really going to be enough. Okay. And, woohoo! Sweet, okay. Um, so, now we're going to work on building our house. Uh, you just want to start off with a rough outline, nothing particularly complicated. Uh, okay, so the basics. Inventory. So you navigate the inventory by using the keys 1 through 9, which, sorry, 1 through O, which are these things up here. As you can see, I'm flicking back and forth between them. And you can move stuff by pressing escape and just moving stuff. I recommend that unless you're like going down a dungeon, which we'll cover a lot later, that you just keep your pick on one, because that's the thing you will generally tend to use the most. Okay, so now we want to go up. And as you can see, you cannot just attach blocks anywhere, they actually have to be attached to something and we're just going for a nice enclosed space right here. Something I can call my own. Okay, 
So, yeah, and that being one of those things where you have to be very careful where you're actually clicking or nothing will happen. So now we're going to craft a workbench and a couple of torches. Now, torches have, require gel and wood, which is why it's important that you at least kill a few slimes upon spawn so that you get some torches. Because without torches, you cannot see during the night. Can't see during the night. You're just boned. Um, I'm just going to show you a little cheat that I learned after playing for a while. You can actually mine through things, and it's not a cheat. It's just it's just something you can do. You can mine through things, um, which is amazingly useful if you're mining in water um, or something. Because if you're mining in water, you cannot uh, place torches in water, so you mine a block into the wall, and then you place a torch. So, you're going to need to build a workbench. Once you've placed a workbench, you want a door. You also want to make some walls. Walls are very important because they stop monsters from spawning. If monsters cannot spawn, then your house is safe. Without that, your house is kind of useless. Uh, so, doors are another one of those things where you need to be very careful where you click. Um, as you can see, I'm just clicking in the middle here, nothing's happening. You want to click at the top, or... Hold on... Oh god, zombies. Um, or you want to click at the bottom. So you want to click at the top or bottom to actually get something done. Okay, so now, wall placement. Uh, walls can be destroyed by hammers and you do not want dirt walls in your house. Uh, you can make walls and a house out of dirt, but it does not stop monsters from spawning. In fact, it does nothing, and it also does not appease NPCs, which if you do not appease NPCs, then they will not come to your house and sell you guns and shit like that, which we'll cover at a later point sometime. Uh, okay, second thing you're gonna have to verse in combat, zombies. Uh, can just be dealt very very easily with a pick by just holding down your mouse and clicking there uh, It does take a while, but you will be able to kill them just with the knockback. It's really not that difficult uh, So just stand your ground and hold mouse with a pick because it's the fastest of the things you currently have <coughs> um, A pick is also an arc weapon, so it's quite good for killing th with things like uh, demon eyes uh, so recap, I'll just let... Okay, even though it looks like the zombie is eating through your door, they will not open it, unless you have a blood moon. And if you have a blood moon on your first night, you're kind of boned. So, just to recap, just stand your ground, hold with a pick, and you will be able to deal with it. As you can see, it's only dealing two damage, but it's enough to kill him. Ooh, shooting stars. Okay. Shooting stars I will explain a lot later, but collect them and do not use them. You can use them to give yourself mana, um, and I mean like restore mana, but because you have no mana crystals, uh, it's pretty useless. So do not put them on your hot car taskbar and eat them by accident. Uh, you want to collect any you see, but do not put yourself in adverse amounts of danger. And I'll explain what they're used for later. You will not really have to worry about them until very very late game and I'm talking very very late game so three or four hours in uh, so yeah you just want to build your house in the first night um, this will be your safe haven for the time being you will at some point build a bed and then that'll be your spawn point etc 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 once you have a house you probably just want to make sure you've got everything you need um, a sword is not a bad idea. Again, hammers destroy pretty much everything. You need them to destroy hearts and other things like that. Um, now, fighting stuff off with a sword, I will explain when I see something I can fight. Uh, okay, you probably want to make a segment of your house that is for mining, and you want to make sure that this has doors so that if you accidentally leave the door open, well, you just want to make sure it has doors so that you can go mining and zombies or whatever will not get into your house because there is nothing more annoying than zombies in your house. Um, because as soon as you go down everything has dirt walls so obviously will spawn zombies. The other thing is this will allow you to remove the floor which you need to go mining. 
Ah, dead eyes. Dead eyes are a pain in the ass, but they are dealable with. Um, so they deal a lot of damage, but they have this very. Um, so if you hit them with anything, they kind of bounce away, and they will always come back to you. And for this, you want an arc weapon. Uh, so you want a broadsword, not a short sword. Um, zombies are kind of the only thing you really want a short sword for. Uh, short swords being like little sticks which you just poke, you don't actually swing, um, but you can poke very quickly. And for zombies, that's great. For things like eyes, not so much, because you're only dealing damage like horizontally out from you. You want an arc weapon to deal with demon eyes and slimes and things like that. Um, come on, come back here. Ah, get on here. So as you can see, not a big deal to try and deal with a demon eye, even at this level. Um, cool. So now just going to remove my wooden floor and stone, which is a fairly important uh, thing to have at this point. Uh, and I kind of struck gold in that my house is on a lot of stone and there was a lot of trees nearby upon spawn. This was out of the five or six worlds I've now created and joined that are brand new. This is probably one of the better ones. And I'm really thankful for that because it's going to make my life really, really easy. Uh, so as you can see down here, we've got the segment between uh, wood wall and stone wall. Sorry, dirt wall. Dirt wall, bat. Enemies will spawn. So this is probably the first problem you're going to run against. And that is, oh no, I can't move. Okay, you want to make sure you still got some wood and you want to make some platforms. Platforms are kind of like a flooring. And... So now you have this little platform that you can jump up and down from and to go down you just press S and that's nice and simple. So that's what you need platforms for. Platforms do not require a workbench. Um, I can probably make a furnace now. Uh, can I make a furnace? Can I make a furnace? Sweet! Okay, so furnace is used for smelting and kind of the next level of crafting. Um, so again, one of those things where you want to be really careful about where you're thinking where you're clicking. Um, here's a little tip. If you have, um, if you, you, oh yes, I'm going to create a bow. I like bows. Bows are fun. Bows do need arrows, however, but arrows are not particularly a problem. Um, if you have all your crafting things standing next to each other, then you can be at the far end and you will still be able to use all of them. So that's nice and convenient. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get enough stone to um, make sure I've got a healthy supply of arrows and stone is probably the thing you want to build your second or third house out of. Uh, okay, so now uh, day is kind of coming back around again. Uh, not all that important. Uh, daytime exploring again, probably not a bad idea. I'm just going to go mining and see if we can find some actual useful materials. So, oh, whoops, uh, I did not want to do that, I want to do this. So yeah, th this is kind of personal preference, but this is the way that I like to mine. I like to not have torches in the way, I just like them kind of out of the way and then you can keep going. Now. What I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try and join... Yep, I can get out. Um, I'm going to try and join that little cave onto my house. And I might even use a door for that. Um, we just want a door. Uh, where's a door? A chest. Chests, uh, you probably want one. Um, so the only penalty for dying is you lose half your money. Now money is not particularly important at this stage in the game, but it becomes very, very important later on. And uh, you want a chest to put all your spare materials and things like that in them. Uh, so they are quite useful. And the other way I like to do torches is just mine one thing out of the roof, put a thing there, and then wunderbar, you're done. And I did not want that, I did not want that. Uh, so your character is three blocks high, so that's what you'll need to do all your doors, and two blocks wide. So the smallest space you'll be able to go down is two blocks, smallest space you'll be able to go across is three. And that's kind of how you want to operate with things, and it's kind of getting daytime now. 
So this is going to be the end of my video, which is kind of a tutorial on what you should be doing your first day-night cycle. Um, <coughs> your motivation for digging is you're looking for copper, silver, iron, and gold. Gold, if you find gold, you're a very lucky man. So yep, got a door. And as you can see, there is some iron down here. There's also uh, pots. Pots can be smashed to give various material. They will sometimes give um, gold. They will sometimes give, and by gold I mean money, not actual gold. They will give you bombs, explosives. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to mess around with. Um, oh, this is a nice copper of. This is a nice vein of copper. Um, so, you're mining copper because you want better armor uh, to reduce damage. Every two defense you gain decreases incoming damage by one from anything. And you want. Come on, guide, get out of there. I'm about to wall it in. Sweet. And you want. Yeah, this area is not particularly important anymore. And you want, well, because the reason you don't really need to make tools with your first set of, um, your first set of copper is because you start with copper tools. Um, so here I'm going to illustrate the bow and arrow. Pretty simple. Uh, and you just go collect your arrows afterwards. Anyway, this is Kennedy DVT with first day night cycle over and done with basic tools, crafting, everything was covered in this video. Uh, Handy little tip is if you want to create multiple of things, just hold down left click. Uh, the, my recording software does not really like Terraria, so that's why it doesn't build it like very, very quickly. But normally if you hold right click, it'll go incredibly, incredibly quickly. So I'm just going to place down a chest in my other portion of the house. Um, I'll cover NPCs when I get 50 silver, which is one of the requirements for the first NPC. But apart from that, if you house, have a house which looks something like this, you will have met the other requirements for an NPC. This is Keno DVT signing off. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the section below. As I said, for you more hardcore people who actually own Terraria, this first few episodes, probably not for you. But who knows, maybe you enjoy me talking. This is Kennedy VT signing off. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Let's go explore, right?